You got a deal. We do have one other problem, and that's Mrs. Parsons. She could still make a lot of trouble for us, even from prison, and <laughs> I really don't need that. Well, I think I've solved that problem. What do you mean? Let's just say the problem has been buried. Really? She's gone, I promise you. You're not very good at keeping promises, Nick. You gonna do something? What are you talking to me for? She's the one with the gun. They're tough in Louisiana, Libby. You shoot me, they'll give you the gas chamber. No, they won't. It's called double jeopardy. I learned a few things in prison, Nick. I could shoot you in the middle of Mardi Gras and they can't touch me. As an ex-law professor, I can assure you she is right. Where's my son? In St. Albans School in Georgia, all right? You have your son back. You got what you want. <laughs> I haven't felt that good in six years. I don't want to kill you, Nick. I just want you to suffer like I suffered. Uh, what she means, Nick, is you're going to prison for murder. Who did I supposedly murder? Me. All you've got is an old fax photo. Which supplies the motive. Your wife, whom you had framed, tracks you down, and to keep her from exposing you, you kill her. You don't get away with it. Well, I think I've solved that problem. What do you mean? Let's just say the problem has been buried. Really? She's gone, I promise you. Taped confessions are very persuasive in court, Nick. And of course, there is the physical evidence that we're going to put in the trunk of your car. A shovel, hair, my fingerprints, a little blood. Uh, don't forget the gasoline. It'll look like you burned and buried my body, just like you say on the tape. The prosecution rests. You better get out of here. Nobody wants a dead woman walking around when the police are trying to arrest a guy for her murder. Wait a minute. I'll take that gun. <laughs>